Alrighty, hello everyone. Today I'll be doing this review on this Afrogenesis plug box car. So this is a 50 foot plug box car from Afrogenesis. Uh, as you can see, it has these like weird couplers that actually come out kind of far. I'm not sure why it's like that. Um, so it is a very good detailed model. Everything's pretty much correct on it. You got uh, all green. You got a lot of a lot of handrails. Nice, um, both there got the ladders what i find weird is that you can't open the door on this one like you can't unlike other ones because you, you can clearly see there's things for the door for the thing for the door to open but it doesn't want to like i've done this and i don't really want to hurt the model too much so yeah i'll probably be taking five points for that since i would like the doors to open to maybe have something in there since this is not very heavy i'll probably say this is like Maybe like a few grams, no more, no less. Um, so as you can see, got your road number right there. Here, your road numbers, got your uh, stuff down there. Got your numbers down there, information. Information for uh, how much you can put in there. Got your C plate. I'm not sure what that is. If anyone knows what that is, uh, you could tell me. You got your insulated. So I think this is what they would put refrigeration stuff into, or something like that. So they might have put, I don't know, like food in here. Um, here's the underside. The underside actually has braking details, so you can see. It's not connected to the truck, but I have had problems where it gets, as you can see, right there. It's swung. It gets actually kind of stuck. So I'll probably I'm um, taking five points for that. Um, the actually there's this weird groove on top of the roof which I do like. As you as I said in my uh, dash nine review, I like when it actually has like the grooves that are actually on top of the uh, prototype, which is like so you can see here. It actually makes that because that brings more of like the uh, model out and texture of it. So yeah, um, the couplers aren't the best. I've had troubles with them in the past where they pretty much like fall out. So I'll probably be, be bringing Katie's into this later on. Um, so what I suggest getting this model if you were a Burlington Northern model or something. Yes, for the price of like 30 bucks, it's a pretty good model. I suggest changing the couplers and maybe trimming the brake lines down here. And if you can get the doors open, or if Afrin can get the doors to open, that would be pretty cool. So, in total, it scored about 85 points. I would say go ahead if you're a Burlington Northern model, or just a or Burlington Northern model, or, or if you're just in that time era when Burlington Northern was around and using these, go ahead. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Next review will be on this little truck right here. Uh, I'll probably be filming this like right after that, so let me just put that right there. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. See you guys on the next review, which will be this.